lot of interesting things are happening at Tesla Giga Texas today, right now, as I'm filing this report and I'm bringing all of them to you. One of them is about Tesla's 4680 battery pack. And this report is about, look how the battery pack has changed. We know that Tesla is going to build the Model Y at Giga Berlin with the 4680 battery pack. And can anyone explain how the battery pack size went from this to that, from the old one to the new one? Now, I mean, I knew the structural pack was breakthrough but this small the 46 uh, AD battery pack this small and this slight this looks really nice and we have some images from some Twitter user friends sharing those battery packs at the uh, uh, Tesla Giga Texas uh, Cyber Rodeo event and I wanted to share them with you welcome back friends this is Armin Harayan from torquenews.com thank you for being here and I really appreciate you subscribing to our channel helping us to reach 100,000 subscriber goal we are now 70,000 and I would really appreciate your help. So you know what? Tesla Gigafactory Texas built Model Y. We know that will equip the company's structure battery pack and revolutionary 4680 battery cells. CEO Elon Musk confirmed on the company's quarter four 2021 earnings call. This was in January, end of the January. Musk then confirmed that Tesla has been building Model Y units at Gigafactory Texas in recent days. This is still in January as the factory neared production approval, which is today. Upon updating listeners then that Tesla would begin deliveries of the Texas built Model Y when the vehicle receives an approval certification, Elon Musk confirmed that the 4680 battery cells and structural battery pack system would be used in vehicles built at Gigafactory Texas. Tesla then updated the timeline for the plant in its shareholder deck by stating builds of Model Ys started in late 2021 at Gigafactory Texas after final certification of Austin made Model Y. The Tesla, uh, Elon Musk said, we plan to start deliveries to customers. So what is this new battery pack? What is this 4680 cells? Interestingly, Tesla also started in its quarter four 2021 shareholder deck that Model Y built at Gigafactory Berlin in Germany would not initially equip the 4680 cells and that's what happened. It did not come with 4680 cells. These vehicles will equip 2170 battery cells at first which have been used in the Model 3 and Model Y since their early production days. The 4680 cells aims to revolutionize lithium-ion batteries used in electric vehicles it is 46 millimeters wide and 80 millimeters long and will increase energy density by five times, increase range by 16% and improve power output by six times. The cell has been in development since 2020 when Elon Musk uh, announced uh, do that during the uh, battery day and kept behind the doors of the Cato Road facility. Now, since Giga Texas battery uh, uh, factory is not fully ready yet, uh, the, uh, the, the 4680, uh, 4680 battery cells will come from the Cato Road facility from uh, Fremont near uh, in California, which is right outside of the Fremont factory. Drew Baglino, SVP of powertrain for Tesla, then said that 46 AD cells are not a constraint to our 2022 volume plans. He added that he expects the first vehicles equipped the 4680 cells to be delivered by the end of quarter one 2022. Now, if you're buying the Tesla Model Y, are you waiting for this 4680? Are you excited about the new specs and possibilities of the 4680 batteries that Tesla will come? Maybe longer range, but better density? Or were you going to rather wait a year or so to see how this 4680 uh, batteries, the structural battery pack will, um, will perform. It should do well, but usually during the first year of any new products, uh, it's better to wait, but they look good. I like how they look friends and how light they are, how small they are and how thin they are. So what are your thoughts on this? Please subscribe to our channel as I'm going to bring you a lot of information from Giga Texas tonight and tomorrow and then our next upcoming days. We uh, report uh, Tesla daily, daily Tesla daily news. And uh, this is Armin Haryan from torquenews.com. And I really appreciate your help helping us to get to 100,000 subscribers and um, have a great day. We'll see you soon in our next report.
You are seeing one of the clearest pictures of Tesla Cybertruck right now parked at Tesla Giga Texas uh, for this evening's uh, Cyber Rodeo event. As this morning I reported, I said, please subscribe to our channel because I'm going to report lots of details about what's happening at Cyber Rodeo this evening at Giga Texas. And here is the clearest picture of Cybertruck. You know, one of the biggest guests that are going to be at Tesla uh, Rodeo this evening is the Cybertruck. And I'm surprised that uh, we have this picture. Blake Check from Twitter has provided this picture. A friend of friend of her, his friend has sent this. What I want you to pay attention is that um, look at the rear door. Do you see that the rear passenger door looks like it was made from a different shade of steel? So is this going to be the new design of Cybertruck? Uh, made, uh, some parts made of different shade of steel? I kind of like it, but I don't know. Would you prefer it to be all the same shade of spe uh, um, uh, steel? Let me know, friends, your thoughts. This is Armin Harayan. Welcome back, everybody. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and help us, please, reach our goal of 100,000 subscribers as we're going to bring you every detail from today's Giga Texas opening. So, Cybertruck images are Tesla's uh, at, uh, Austin's, uh, at Tesla's Austin plant. Plant are right now circulating on social media. So, uh, are we looking for some dignitaries and guests coming or Hollywood performance? Not hardly. We're talking about the Cybertruck to be the main guest at Giga Texas, which Elon Musk introduced in 2019 to a mixed reaction then. Production has been delayed, but that hasn't dampened enthusiasm for Tesla's electric pickup truck. If social media is any indication, including this image, which shows the clearest image. Now, the Cybertruck is officially here for uh, tonight's GigaFest. Tesla, uh, Tesla Economics tweeted along with a video clip of the futuristic looking vehicle. And we're glad we're seeing more images of um, Cybertruck. So, according to a popular reservation tracker in the Tesla community, the Cybertruck has almost 1.4 million reservations right now. Currently, all we know is that the Cybertruck production timeline has been pushed back to next year due to the overwhelming demand for Model Y and also Model 3. Elon Musk stated on the most recent earnings call that Tesla needs to fill the growing backlog for Model Y and Model 3 before starting production on a new vehicle. Based on the ongoing chip shortage and supply chain issues, this strategy certainly seems to make sense. It's the responsible thing to do. Nevertheless, there is a chance we'll see the production version of the Cybertruck for the very first time at the Cyber Rodeo event instead of another prototype. We also may get more visibility into when Tesla will start its production. So tonight I'm expecting lots of real good updates about Cybertruck from Elon Musk. This is why friends, if you're here first time, please subscribe to our channel for the details because I've, I'm going to file several more news reports about the latest on Tesla and also please help us to reach our goal of having 100,000 subscribers right now we're 70,000 or so there is already there's already been some uh, sighting of Cybertruck and Tesla semi at Giga Texas uh, so it's likely they'll be displayed prominently at the event tonight one of them is this one I think I honestly although I have seen videos of the Cybertruck but I haven't seen a clearer picture of Cybertruck in addition there is a chance Tesla will showcase the first Model Y vehicle that are made with the company's new 4680 batteries, although these Model Ys look the same on the outside, under the skin, there are major differences, including a new structural battery pack that adds rigidity and makes the car even safer. In addition, we may get a closer look at Austin's Giga Press, which should make the Model Y easier and faster to produce. Reports via Electric uh, are indicating that Tesla will not reopen Giga Shanghai until Friday, which could represent some 24,000 cars that will not be produced there. That said, this couldn't have happened at a better time for Tesla. With Giga Berlin now open and Giga Austin opening this week, it's likely that Tesla can make up some of the Shanghai shortfall 
in the coming quarter? Will it be enough to make up for the production pause in China? Or was this calculated in the estimates? It all depends on Tesla's ability to ramp up production quickly at Giga Berlin, Giga Factory Austin, and perhaps some added efforts at the company's Fremont factory as well. I think we'll hear more on uh, this from Elon at the Cyber Rodeo event. So tonight, Elon Musk may tell us more about when Tesla expects to open Giga Shanghai. And uh, the last I heard from Twitter about Giga Shanghai is that end of uh, April, actually April 18 or April 19, Tesla may open, uh, the, uh, Shanghai will open uh, in general. So that will mean that Tesla Giga Shanghai will also open. But right now, Cybertruck is the main stage at Gigafactory Texas for tonight's event. Let me know your thoughts. What do you think about the Cybertruck's rare passenger door uh, being made from a different shade of steel? Uh, do you like it? In the meantime, this is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Friends, please subscribe to our channel and help us to reach our goal and achieve our goal of 100,000 subscribers. I would greatly appreciate it. Have a wonderful day and keep an eye on our website and our YouTube channel because I'm going to bring more reports today. There will be lots of unique news today about Tesla and the Cyber Rodeo event from Gigafactory Austin. Have a great day and look forward for my next report.